guys, welcome back. We're going to talk about some things to keep on hand for your horses as far as um, medicine goes and show you our vet kit and some things that we keep stocked up on in case we have any emergencies with the horses. So I'm just gonna open up the drawers here and kind of pull out what we have and explain from there. All right, so first thing, is a diaper. I know that seems really silly to have in your horse kit, but we use this on the horse's feet. A lot of times if they get abscesses, we have to use this, or if they just get any kind of sores or maybe cuts around the hoof and we have to keep it clean and wrapped, this is perfect for your horse. So we just open it up, put any medicine that we need to in there. We stick the horse's hoof in there and we wrap their foot up just like a diaper and then we usually put some duct tape around it as well. So we keep some diapers on. All right, next it looks like we have just some regular gauze pads. These just help. I use them to scrub any wounds that we might have or if I have like medicine in a weird spot that I can't really get to stick in there, I'll put it on the gauze pad, then stick the pad on the wound and then wrap the wound. Next we have bandage rolls. This works similarly to the gauze. I usually put this under all of my vet wrap. It's, I don't like to put vet wrap directly on my horse's skin because it can cause rubbing and it can cause them to lose hair and it can just be uncomfortable. I don't want to cause any extra irritation to an area that's already irritated. So if I ever have to vet wrap a horse, I put this under it, wrap whatever, the leg or whatever it might be in this after I put the medicine on and then I put the vet wrap around it. This is a cotton roll and I'm not gonna unwrap it because it's packed nicely in there, but it's literally just a huge sheet of cotton. And if you guys have seen our Instagram posts on performing equestrian where Mambo had his really bad cuts on his legs a long time ago, we had to cotton roll his legs and this was kind of the first step in the cast that he had to wear and we had to change these a lot. So these are still on stock from back when he had that injury. And they just really help protect any large cuts if you have to wrap a really big area. All right, and in the top drawer, it's just more of the same. Now let's check out our second drawer. First thing we have is some duct tape. I told you guys we use this a lot on the hooves if we have to wrap them in the diapers. Duct tape helps it stay on wonderfully. Got a couple of rolls of that. Okay, I've got some tiny cups in here and I most recently used these whenever Annie had a cut inside the wall of her hoof and I had to mix some medication inside of this and then I would pour it down inside the hoof because it was a really weird um, angle that I had to get the medication in. So use this to help mix up some medication to put inside of there. These are polo wraps. And I use these a lot around whenever I do liniment or if I do poultice wraps, standing wraps, anytime I'm helping a horse recover. You can also use them um, over any big cuts if you put maybe the cotton roll underneath it or actual wraps. But these are super, super handy. I suggest everybody has at least one pair of polo wraps in their vet kit because you can use them for all sorts of things. Also really good for if you're trailering and you don't have um, hauling boots. These are great. More duct tape. Okay. Then we have some Dormo gel and this helps the horses relax. This is what we use whenever we need to clean out their sheets or do anything like that that maybe they're not super comfortable with. It's kind of like a sedative. It's not the same strength or anything like that, but it, um, just helps them settle down and relax. That way you can clean up anything you need to clean up. We also have some jumbo cotton balls. And if you know Miss Christy, you know I hate the feeling of cotton, so I will not be pulling these out. You guys all know what cotton balls look like. And I just use them, I hate it, but when I have to touch them, I use them to clean out their cuts, um, maybe put some medication on there and then scrub away as fast as I can because I don't like to touch it. <laughs> Next we have all sorts of things in here. Syringes. 
if we ever have medication that we have to give the horses, a lot of times we get pills that we have to give the horses and we can usually soak that and put it in their feed. But every now and then, usually more often than I prefer it to happen, we get a horse that will not eat his pills. And so I have to crush them up in a syringe and get them wet and then feed it to them orally. So we have some of these on hand. Uh, basically all kinds of sizes. This one I cut the end off of. That's usually what I have to do if I have to feed them the medication and some smaller ones as well. We also have a thermometer to help take horses temperatures. Very important. Everybody needs a thermometer in their vet kit. More syringes. Okay, this is a twitch and we use it if we're having problems with the horses cooperating, especially if we don't wanna to have to sedate them. You can put this around their lip and helps them stand still. Sometimes, especially if you have a horse that has a cut on the back leg and you're trying to put medicine on it, if they get to where they're trying to kick at you, we use this and then they stand still. And that is all from the second drawer. Now on to the third drawer. Okay, this one is a lot. We'll start with one of my favorites. Anything that is Vetricin usually works really, really well. This is a eye spray. So if they get any kind of anything in their eye, if they have any discharge, um, maybe they just got some hay in there, anything like that, I can usually spray this in their eyes, kind of like eye drops for people, and it'll usually fix the problem in one to three days. Um, I've had this forever. It's kind of expensive, but like I said, lasts forever. And I like that it is a spray because you can't share medicine on horses if it's eye to eye because it spreads too much throughout the barn. So I do like that it's a spray. I don't actually have to touch them with it. They don't necessarily love it, but we usually get the job done. This is Vetrosim Plus, and you can use this on all kinds of wounds. Any irritation that they might be having, this stuff is amazing. I really like to use this. And again, it works usually pretty quickly. Another kind of expensive thing but I don't buy it that often and I keep it on hand and the results are awesome. I've had really good uh, luck with this one so definitely recommend that you have Vetrosim Plus in your vet kit. It's easy especially if a horse that is kind of kicking at you trying to touch their injury you can just squirt it on there and kind of stand from uh, a distance and you still get the job done. Okay this is Vetison and it's in Kind of like a like a lotiony cream this is what i had to put on mambo's massive cuts that he had on his back legs whenever i had to use the cotton roll and put him in um casts so this was given to me by my vet works really good and i would put this on him and try to keep it on for one to two days before i had to change the bandage that often just kind of depended on what stage in the recovery we were in, but this stuff worked really well. If you have a cut that's pretty big and needs to be wrapped for a while, I suggest something more like this as opposed to the spray. The spray is something I do every day. This is something I try to do over a period of time. Fine, just pick this up at the Walgreens. Anytime they get a cut, clean it out just like you do for people, and then I apply medicine, make sure there's not any infection going on in the wind. This was some iodine that was given to us by our vet to help clean out wounds nearly empty, so probably going in the trash. Okay, this is Epsom salt poultice, and this is what we use whenever the horses get abscesses, if they have any bruising in their hoofs. It's really good. It's kind of like a liniment for muscles. If they have joint soreness or swelling, you can wrap them in the poultice. So if we had horses that were kind of giving us signs of a abscess, we would pack their hoof with the poultice, wrap it in the diaper, wrap it in vet wrap, wrap it in duct tape, and leave it on them, change it every day, and that just kind of helps draw out the swelling and the soreness, and hopefully the hoof would then work itself out if it was an abscess. Also just helps with any overall soreness, so a good one to have, especially if you do a lot of jumping. This is Furazone, another thing that was given to us by our vet just an antibiotic kind of topical cream 
for more cuts. The next thing that we have, this is something I highly recommend that everybody has in their vet kit. This is, it's called Thrush Buster. And it helps if your horses get thrush. And unfortunately that happens a lot, especially in the rainy season, or if your horse's hooves aren't cleaned out often enough, then they get thrush, which oftentimes you can kind of tell that your horse is getting thrush by picking out their hooves. It has a pretty distinct smell. So you simply clean out the hoof and you pour this on the edges of the frog and it helps uh, kill any bad bacteria that's in the hoof. Next we have some small, I'm not gonna go through all of these in detail. Basically what they are is um, kind of like eye drops in cream that goes in the eye. So this is back from when we had Snoopy and she had a bad eye infection. She actually poked her eye, I think on like some wire or something out in the field and she had an ulcer in her eye. And so we had to keep her eye covered. We had to give her medicine three times a day and she had to have all of these. Thankfully, she was a very good patient, but um, we kept these and we keep the boxes. That way, if we have any upcoming situations like that, we'll kind of know what we need to address the issue. And um, like I said, just different kinds of drops and cream that goes inside the eye. And now for some other just random items that we have that we keep on hand. First of all, this is MTG. It stands for main tail and groom. This is um, a really good one to have on hand. It can serve multi-purposes, fungus, rain rot, girth itch, scratches, tail rubbing, dry skin, bug bites, detangler, main and tail growth and conditioning. So we use it a lot for the main and tail growth, but we can also use it on the other things. Next, we just have some sunblock. This is from Mary's Botanicals. We ordered this online from a company in California. You just push it. This is for all of our horses that have white noses. They get really bad sunburns in the summer. You can also just use regular human sunscreen. They don't like it. It's a little bit harder to put on, but either way. Also from Mary's Botanical, we have some fly balm and we put this, I like to just kind of dip my finger in it and put it around their ears, around their eyes, on their face, places that I don't necessarily spray the fly spray on. And um, also if they have a bunch of bad bites, it just kind of helps soothe that. So we like to keep this on hand. This is another one that I absolutely recommend that you have on hand all the time. This is a weight tape. So you can either get the tape or you can get the, they have a stick version. The stick version is more accurate as far as keeping track of how tall your horse is. This is semi-accurate for weight. It kind of gives you a ballpark region. Um, we use this weekly to track horses' weights and make sure, sure that they are at least maintaining or gaining as needed. Another super important one to have on hand is Butte. And we get this from our veterinarian. This is similar to like ibuprofen for humans. If they have swelling, any issues, we usually butte them. Uh, you do have to be careful how often you use this, but talk to your veterinarian about that. We usually give our horses a dose for about three days and then we have to take a break because it can irritate the stomach. But um, super, super important to have on hand. The paste, which is what this is, is much better than the powder, but they do also have powder forms. Vet wrap, you need tons and tons of vet wrap in your vet kit. Always need vet wrap. This is Corona. This is a multi-purpose ointment. Definitely recommend that you have some of this in your kit. I use this almost daily with the amount of horses that we have. Any minor cuts, scrapes, anything. I can throw some of this on there, bug bites, and send them on their way. And usually it's gone in a couple days. So this one is fairly inexpensive and incredible to have on hand. It's um, probably not as strong as some of the other ones I showed you, like the Vetrosin or the Vetison, but it's great, so get some. So we have some coat defense. This is, we primarily use it for horses that um, have a lot of skin irritations. We put the powder on them and it just helps treat that. We also have it in a clay form. I'll show you what it looks like, but this can help with scratches, rain rot, insect bites, inflammation, sores. So this is a more expensive company. We order this online, but up to you if you want it. 
we've already showed you some that are similar to this that covers the same basis, so up to you. This is Butte Less, and it's a supplement you can put in their feed every day if you want to. Helps with joints, um, can help with arthritis. It's supposed to be easier on the gut to help with their stomach. I don't use this every single day, but if I have a horse come up with some swelling, I will give them this for a few days so I keep it on hand, especially if I'm out of Butte. Um, definitely not as strong as actual Butte, but I have seen results from this and I like it, so I keep it on hand. This is from our farrier here at the barn. He gives this to us every six to eight weeks when we see him for visits. It just goes on the hooves. Um, there's a million different kinds of hoof oils out there and I think we've tried just about all of them. This one in particular is an everyday use. Most of them are not. So um, like today we have a lot of rain and so I didn't put this on today because it's not super necessary but I could and it ne wouldn't necessarily cause more harm. There are some out there that just add a lot of extra moisture to the hoof. And if you have a rainy day and you add extra moisture, then the hoof is getting too much and then you can cause all kinds of other problems. So um, do your research on hoof oil, find one that works for you. Like I said, we've tried a lot. We also really like Mary's Botanicals hoof oil, um, but this is, we kind of just go based off what our farrier recommends. So this is called ProBios. It's a digestion support. Another supplement has probiotics. They also make these in a pill form. So if you have to give your horse a pill, uh, you can put them inside of one of these and feed it. And then hopefully they still get the medicine intake that they need. This is another liniment that we use. This is what we use on our jumping horses or um, any horses that are going through really strenuous work. If they've had a really hard work day, we put the liniment on their legs to help with recovery and uh, we use this a couple times a week on the horses. Lysol, yes, this is toilet cleaner. We use this on hooves that have a bad bacteria infection and this was recommended by our farrier, so we have this on hand. I bought this particular bottle probably three years ago and still using it, so I keep it. This is styrofoam insulation and we had to cut this. We had to go to Lowe's and buy this. This was for a horse that we had uh, that had to wear shoes. And if he lost a shoe out in the pasture, he would get really sore feet. So in the meantime, when we were waiting on our farrier to come and reshoe him, he would get foam boots. We called them his moon shoes. So we have these on hand because they're left over from that horse and um, never know when you might need them again. Next, we have regular coconut oil on hand and I use this for a lot of things. I can use it in the summer and the winter. In the summertime, I put it on their legs. Uh, I melt it and rub it on their legs. It helps with any fly bites, just kind of helps soothe it. It also helps if it's really, really muddy outside. It can keep the mud from sticking to their legs so they don't get mud fever. In the winter time, I melt it and put it on their legs and their hooves and it keeps ice from sticking to their legs. You have to use it a lot to really make it work as good as you want it to, um, but it does primarily work at the first frost or whatever, and it also helps from snowballs balling up in the bottom of their hooves. This is SWAT repellent, and it's a gel. You can't really see it very good, but uh, we recently had a horse who had a t-post go through his leg by his chest and he had to have stitches and we couldn't just directly spray fly spray on that area but we wanted to keep the flies off of it so we rubbed the swat all around it to keep it clean. Another form of poultice, just regular Epsom salt. So get this at Walgreens, Walmart, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, wherever you shop and keep it on hand. This is for our horses whenever they have abscesses and we have to soak their feet or if they just have any general swelling, you can put warm water in a bucket and soak their legs in Epsom salt to help with swelling. Then we also just keep some fly spray on hand. This is Mary's Botanicals fly spray. We also really like their muscle spray. I put this on the horse's backs before and after lessons to help with any soreness that they might get, especially those horses that are ridden a lot. This is a hoof and fungus spray. We have several different kinds of fungus solutions that you can put on the hoof. This one is easy, smells good, um, so I like it best. And this is a velvet coat spray from Mary's Botanicals. 
basically just like a conditioner that I put on their coats after they're ridden to keep them nice and soft. All right, so I'm sure I forgot some things, believe it or not, after all the things we just went through. But just as a quick recap, some things that you definitely want to keep on hand um, with your horse. You want some sort of hoof oil. If you have a white horse, you might want some sunscreen. This was our weight tape. You're going to want some sort of fly spray, some sort of hoof and fungus, whatever you prefer. A muscle spray or a liniment or a poultice, especially if you have a horse that is of a higher level or in high competition or jumps a lot or barrel races a lot, something to help them with muscle recovery. Definitely want some Corona on hand. This one is easy and cheap. This is just a favorite of mine, main tail groom. It can cover a ton of bases, um, a little more on the expensive side, but I've had it for a while. It lasts a while usually, especially if you just have a few horses. And then you're gonna need some sort of vet wrap, some sort of um, cotton wrap, some sort of cotton wrap or bandage to put under the vet wrap. Definitely need vet wrap, lots and lots and lots of vet wrap. I just buy the huge packages that they have and I keep it filled up. You'll need some duct tape on hand. Wouldn't hurt to have some diapers on hand. Definitely need a thermometer. You'll definitely want some iodine on hand to help clean any cuts. It's a good idea to have some thrush, something to treat thrush on hand for those hooves. Also a good idea to just keep some extra tubes of dewormer. Overall, I hope this video just helped give you guys some tips of some things to have on hand for your horses. And if you acquire them one at a time, I know up front it can seem like it can add up and be really expensive, but if you get them one at a time, maybe you go to the feed store and have to get some feed and pick up a thing of vet wrap or whatever while you're there. Um, just acquiring them over time will really help and then whenever you're in a scenario where maybe it's the middle of the night and you have to get your horse through until you can get to a vet, you'll have some things on hand to help them. Let us know if you have any questions about this video and we hope that you've enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next video.